what could be nicer than enjoying a traditional English afternoon tea? But are you doing it correctly? Here's my official guide. First things first, the napkin, never called the serviette. Take it and place it on your lap with the crease folded towards you. And next comes the actual drinking tea. Always loose leaf tea, please, so you'll need to use a tea strainer. And when it comes to stirring our tea, we go back and forth, back and forth in a 6-12 motion, rather than round and round, creating an awful racket, splashing, and any sugar that you have added in will just sit in the bottom rather than dissolving. After you've eaten the sandwiches with your fingers, not with a knife and fork, then you can move on to the scones. Pronounced scone, not scone. We don't use a knife to cut into our scones. We break them with our hands in two, just like so. When it comes to layering your scone, you have two options. If you are using Cornish clotted cream, then the procedure is that you put the jam on first, the cream on last. Whereas the Devonians with Devonshire clotted cream like the cream to seep into the scone, and so they put it on first. If you're neither Cornish or Devonian, you can do as you please, but never sandwich the two together and eat as a whole. We use a small fork, or sometimes a pastry fork, to eat, but upturned in the right hand. And when you have finished, make sure you dab your mouth, not wipe. My thanks to the Milestone Hotel. And now, due to my guide, you know how to have afternoon tea the correct way.